Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, if you guys got the last video to 20 likes, we have a double header. If not, then this is all you're getting. I don't know what to tell you guys. But, <laughs> we got the VMI Cadets taking on the UT Chattanooga Mocs. Both squads are 0-3 on the season. They're really struggling. And this is the first game in the Big 12 for VMI. And head coach Rondé Barbary still looking for that first victory on the season. And we might have a good shot at it today. Their quarterback for Chattanooga is suspended for three ball games, so they do not have a very good quarterback. Um, I believe their new quarterback has like a 59 overall, 52 overall, excuse me, Corey Essex. He's not very good, but, you know, things happen, and we already saw a 57 overall quarterback torch a defense in this dynasty once. So who knows if that can happen again, but I got VMI winning this one 24-17, getting their first win. But Hops gets sacked on the first, well, the first drive of the game. Third play of the game gets sacked. And Chattanooga off to a good start on defense. VMI has allowed 123 points this season in three games. Not very impressive. Here's Cooper on a punt return, and he's up past the 40, the 30. Shaw giving chase, and the punter tracks him down inside the 15-yard line. So poor downfield coverage, but the punter makes up for it, and this pass is almost picked off by Darius Peters. So UT Chattanooga kicks the field goal up and good, and they take an early lead, 3-0 over the Cadets. Hops rolling out left side, wide open is Hufford, the backup halfback. We still have yet to see Sanders in there at halfback. I think he's only played one game this year, and he's been suspended for quite a while. But here is Hops in the open field all the way for the touchdown. That wasn't even fair. That was too easy. 44-yard touchdown scamper by the quarterback. Just a simple option play, and Hops just outruns everybody. And he's had a rough season this year so far. 500-plus passing yards, but he has seven fumbles and six interceptions. And this pass is picked off by Darius Peters, who came into the game with 11 tackles, three picks, and seven pass deflections. So he's had a pretty decent season for himself. Now let's see if the offense can continue their success. Play action. No, it's an end around to Joseph Martin, and he's going to get the first down. A great stiff arm on the cornerback. Nice run by the wide receiver. Third and seven, though. Hops is going to have to throw it here, and he is dropped back at the 42-yard line. The offensive line has not been that good for VMI at all this season. And play action here from Essex. Rolling around, gets sacked. That's the first career sack for the defensive end, and I can't even remember his name. My goodness, my brain is a little foggy. William Reed, there we go. My God, forgive me. Forgive me, William. And Essex sacked again. And that is Henry Hamilton in his first sack of the game. I believe that's his second on the season. VMI back on offense. Here's a read option. Hops is going out left side. Jukes it back to the inside, inside the 40-yard line. He's got 51 yards already today. And a nice spin move. Jukes breaks a tackle, but he fumbles the football yet again this season. That is his eighth fumble. Eighth. Here's Hufford on a halfback slam. He'll get the first down. And more inside the 15-yard line. A great run for the backup halfback. Second and seven. Hops looking to throw it. Nice pump fake. Got the defensive tackle. The jump. And Hops carries the defender all the way down to the one-yard line. He's now up to 65 yards. And VMI punches it in with Matt Keller. Easy touchdown. Untouched for the big fullback. I don't know why I said big. He's very short but he is a load to take down. And right side, Phillips wide open. Peters gets him down inside the 40-yard line, though. Great throw from Essex, the 52 overall quarterback, and he's going to dump it off to his halfback, Jackson, here, and he'll pick up seven. Fourth down, Essex going for it. Wide open is Cooper, and he is all the way for the touchdown. That is something VMI needs to work on big time. Henry Hamilton got to the quarterback, but it was too late. And on fourth and three, UT Chattanooga gets in the end zone. Hops rolling out right side. He's got right wide open, decides to hit Fry instead up to the 40-yard line. So Hops doing pretty well for himself, throwing the football today. And he's going to take off, run the football, pitches it out late to Hufford, and he gets it up to the 40-yard line, pushed out of bounds. 
And they'll give it off to Hufford again. And he fumbles the football. Luckily, the tight end, Fry, dives on it. 14 to 10 is the score here. Less than two minutes to go in the half. Hops takes off again. Jukes to the outside. Breaks the tackle inside the 10, the 5, and taken out of bounds at the one-yard line. Great run. And they will punch it in again with Matt Keller for his second touchdown of the game. So it's 21 to 10 now, less than a minute to go. Jackson stops short of the first down, fourth and six. Cadets take over, second and five. Hops, rolling out left side. And can't decide what to do with it. Finally chucks it up and Jason Wright comes down with it at the 22 yard line. BMI calls a timeout with 16 seconds remaining. And here's Bryson Shields, the cornerback in his first uh, career reception. And that sets up a field goal to make it 24 to 10. VMI up at the half over Big 12 opponent, Chattanooga. 245 yards of offense for VMI, only 59 for Chattanooga. Essex right side, caught by Phillips and he'll go out of bounds with the first down. Second and 10, wide open, Phillips beats the linebacker. And Essex going to continue to go to the air here and with success as Phillips has another first down. Trey Upton with a nice hit. Second and 10, Essex in the shotgun. Continuing to air it out and Dorsey was wide open. Has another first down. This is a great drive from UT Chattanooga and a play action pass to Brown. But Peters crushes him. His first career force fumble. His first career fumble recovery. And his first career scoop and score. What a play from Darius Peters. Just absolutely destroyed the man that went in motion and caught the ball. Essex trying to come back from that and he hits Phillips again. And Phillips is having a great day. Almost 100 yards receiving already. And Essex fumbles the football. That is Darius Peters' first career sack. The fumble is recovered by Bates and he is going to score. Two scoop and scores on two consecutive drives. And both plays, Darius Peters was involved, forcing the fumble. What a game he's having. Career day for one of the better players on this team. Came into the game with zero forced fumbles. He has two already today. And there's a nice run from Jackson. But the Mox still at negative rushing yards. Nice cutback by Jackson. And he will get the first down up to the 42-yard line. And Jackson out of the shotgun gets dumped for a loss by William Reed. That was a loss of three. 38 to 10 is the score. And there was a fantastic throw from Essex right to the dirt. VMI back on offense. Jason Wright is wide open in the middle of the field. First down, Kedets. And Hops having a great game. Over 200 total yards. Matt Keller in the open field. And he wasn't touched until he got about 12 or 13 yards downfield. 27 yards for him today with two scores. And they'll give it off to Hufford. Great block by Keller. And he is all the way down to the 25-yard line. Everything's working out in VMI's favor today. They've only scored 41 points the entire season up until this game. And they're on the verge of doubling that right here. And Hufford going right up the middle, down at the two-yard line. He's got 79 yards today. Matt Keller stood up and gets taken down but pushed forward into the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. And that will give VMI 45 points. So it's 45 to 10. Brown wide open and Peters tracks him down at midfield. So only 41 points scored the entire season until this game. And they put up 45 today. And this pass is picked off by Darius Peters. Oh my goodness. Two picks, two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery, and a scoop and score. Unreal numbers for him. Wow. And hops on the option, breaks the tackle, past the 40, and all the way down to the 48-yard line of UT Chattanooga. But VMI has also given up 123 points this year, but today only 10 points scored. It's 45 to 10, and Matt Keller running through a defender and gets about nine yards. Third down and six. Hops optioning out. He's going to have the first down. Pitches out to Walton, the third string halfback. And look at the speed. He's gone. 50 burger. VMI puts up the 50 burger on UT Chattanooga. It's 52 to 10. But the Mox, they're not giving up. They're still trying. Essex is sacked again. That is Trey Upton. 
who came into the game with nine tackles, two for loss, one sack, one pick, and one pass deflection. So that was his second sack on the year. Essex hit as he throws it, caught by Evans. Very close to the markers, third and three. They're going to go play action again, and Henry Hamilton comes through with his third sack of the season, second of the game. And nobody even blocked him. It's not even fair. That's going to do it, folks. 52-10. to 10. VMI, Rondé Barber, the head coach, finally gets the, the first win of the season for them. And that was a total domination of the mocks from UT Chattanooga. We didn't really see a whole lot of Bryson Shields today, who came into the game with nine tackles and one pick with five deflections. But that just means that he was shutting down the left side. There wasn't a whole lot of big plays to the left side, maybe one or two. So he did a great job today. Four turnovers for the mocks, zero for VMI, who came into the game with about 150 of them. It wasn't even, it was, it was just awful the first three games. Of course, their first game of the year, they lost to uh, Bryant. No, that was the second game of the year, they lost to Bryant. And that was when a couple suspensions happened. We're still waiting for players to get back for these guys. So Matt Keller, three touchdowns today. But once they get their halfback back, you know, Cam Sanders, I think this team is in really good shape in the Big 12. Of course, you have North Dakota State and South Dakota State in the Big 12 as well. But if BMI wins their division, they will meet probably one of those two squads in the Big 12 championship game if everything falls in the right order for all three squads. But a great day for the defense today. Came in allowing 123 points. They only allowed 10 points today. A lot of takeaways. There's four takeaways. Bunch of sacks today as well. So we're getting a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. There was five sacks. Uh, four takeaways. Darius Peters, player of the game. I expect him to get Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week as well. Because he was just flat out dominating this ball game in every way imaginable. He also had two deflections today as well. So the two uh, subscriber defensive linemen came up and actually performed quite well today. William Reed gets his first sack of his career and Henry Hamilton gets two. So hopefully you guys put 20 likes on that last video yesterday, the San Diego Toreros and their total domination of Eastern Washington. If you did, you will see another game today. That'll be out in a couple hours. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. But our next VMI game, they will be traveling to take on the Furman Paladins. That is a Week 7 matchup. And that is another Big 12 game. That should be a fun one. And if you did get those 20 likes, you will see South Dakota State taking on McNeese State in a couple hours. I'll see you guys then, hopefully. Take it easy, guys.